First of all, Maddie, thank you so much for joining us. Do I call you Matthew or Maddie? Because your your lovely sister refers to you as Matthew, and we, we always get a little thrown. We're like, wait, who's she talking about? Firstly, yeah, thank you very much for having me. It's a, it's a pleasure to join you guys. Um, yeah, Matthew's fine. Hannah's always called me that from young, so. <laughs> me um, you my football Matthew, name's Matt. You can do any of any. them. I heard when Unai Emery gets angry at you that you didn't track back. He goes, Matthew, Matthew, run back. <laughs> to be honest, I'm so like zoned into the action. I don't actually hear him shout at me. It's probably better I do that, but yeah. He's a true professional. Um, all right, before we before we talk soccer or football with you, Maddie, um, I'm just very curious. Your your lovely sister Hannah has been doing a great job for us here on the Galazzo Network. Have you ever seen her in action? What do you what do you make of of her work and her career path? Yeah, we're in a family group chat, and I get all of the um, all of the clips sent to me, so I'm always watching. And uh, yeah, she loves it. She's she came home a few months ago and she said how much fun she had and how she enjoyed it and how everyone made her feel so welcome. So I think she's a natural, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. I don't think my, my, brother, brother. my brother wouldn't be that nice. <laughs> Maddie, do you have any critiques for Hannah? Any advice? Uh, yeah, just to keep working hard. She's very good at what she does. I think she's a better golfer than presenter. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ooh, she's... She, you. Doesn't, she doesn't need my advice. She's... Uh, she does really well what she does, so it's uh, it's good. I'm really happy for Maybe her. Maybe that yeah. was a compliment. Maybe that's how good of a golfer you are. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, all right, so, Maddie, let's let's chat about that the Villa match yesterday, as we mentioned, uh, back in Champions League for the first time since the, the 80s. How – I know you're obviously uh, nursing an injury right now, so you couldn't – be part of it but how how happy did it make you to to see Aston Villa not only back in Europe but then such a dominating performance yeah to be honest I was a bit gutted that I wasn't there um, especially when the Champions League tune came on right before the game I was I was thinking oh, I'd love to be in line there now but now for the boys they've done an amazing job it was a very tough game going there um, especially on an artific artificial pitch that some of the boys have never done obviously in the Premier League we never have that so Oh, they put on a great performance, I think. Yeah, we dominated the game um, in all aspects, I think, defensively. And then going forward, we looked a real good threat with Morgan, JJ and Ollie as well. So, um, yeah, gutted that I wasn't there, but I know I'll be back soon. So I'll have the chance to, uh, to get in action soon. You mentioned you might be back soon. There's a chance that you'll be back before Bayern Munich make their way to Villa Park. How's that going to feel, getting to hear the Champions League theme played in Villa Park? What do you think the scenes are going to be like there? Yeah, I should be back for that one. So I'm hoping to train next week because I can't miss that Bayern Munich game. Um, it's what you dream dream of as a young a young boy to play in the Champions League. And for me, obviously, having a having a, a sniff playing in a major tournament like the World Cup, I think the Champions League is on the same sort of level. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing everything I can to get back for that. Uh, Villa Park will be on fire, I'm sure, especially um, the first Champions League back since a very long time. So, um, yeah, excited for it. I actually have a question for Hannah. Oh, yes. Growing up, did you ever think that your brother would be playing in a World Cup and in Champions League? No, well, I don't want to say no, because that sounds quite horrible. <laughs> but we, were, we grew up around football, didn't we? And my oldest brother, Adam, played. And wasn't it, Matt, when we were growing up, Adam was the better footballer? Ad Ooh. Everyone thought Adam was going to go, like, like, make it. And then Matthew did, so... Um, <laughs> Um, no, I think, um, yeah, we've always had football drilled in our blood from yeah. young for, for our dad and for our family. But Adam was a very good footballer, yeah. Mm. He just had very weak knees. That's why he, yeah. he did a few ACLs and stuff, which Matthew, killed him. Oh, no. Matthew said he had broccoli knees because he'd done his ACLs. <laughs> Jeez, broccoli <laughs> knees. <laughs> <But> no, <laughs> only a family member could say that. Um, I no. think, like, yeah, it's obviously Adam's got, obviously, he's gone into another path in terms of coaching, and I think he's a really good coach. But I've always had... I've always had the drive and the belief in myself to to be a footballer, which you need, especially to get to this sort of this sort of stage in your career where you're playing in the Premier League and in, in, in massive games. You've got to have self belief. I think that's for everyone as well, not yeah. just football. I think I, you've got self belief in yourself. You always achieve what you want. Yeah, I think for me as well, when he played in the World Cup, it was the first time mm. I was like, mm. wow. Like, um, we we're all That's so crazy. proud of him. It was like, I just remember going into the first game and it was just. 
I couldn't believe that my brother was playing here at the World Cup. I think that was the first moment where I took it all in. Obviously. Poland, Mexico, yeah? Yeah. Where was yeah. that game? Do, do you remember? What stadium it was? It was in the numbered one. Was it like fourth or Oh, uh -huh. the, one, the one with box, yeah. the one with yeah. crates. Yeah. yeah, it was made out of crates. Uh -huh. And when we walked into that and it was kickoff and we were all so nervous. And we all get nervous at his games. Me and my mum are like, can't even watch sometimes. But it was that first World Cup game. So cool. I was like, wow. Maddie, do you get nervous before those, those big matches? Like, how will you feel ahead of the match against Bayern Munich when it's, it's Champions League? And you, you mentioned, like, hearing that, that theme song playing. Like, do you get the butterflies? Yeah, I think a bit of adrenaline, a bit of nerves, it all kicks in. But you train yourself for these moments, you know. Obviously, I've had a... I've had a a sniff of playing in major tournament, as I said then, and, and that's obviously massive. But yeah, you train and you think to yourself before the game, like I've I've dreamed for these moments. So you just sort of capitalize on capitalize on them, and you want to do really well. So there is nerves for sure. But then I think, as as I said, I train for moments to to go and produce. Yeah. So you've got this moment. You've coming off an amazing season in the Prem. Do you feel the energy around Aston Villa heightening and? Does that come with higher expectations? Yeah, definitely. I think the manager is really good in terms of um, making sure we're level level headed. We're all on the same sort of the same sort of way, you know, because there can be a lot of noise and sometimes that can be a distraction. So um, when we work in, in, in body more in the training ground, we try to keep ourselves to ourselves and work hard. And then when it comes to a Saturday, just to try and win. And I think we've done that very well in the last two years, ever since the managers come in. You mentioned before when we started that Matthew is uh, good enough. I, with a name like Cash, I feel like if you played in American sports, you'd have a million nicknames. Is, what's, the, <laughs> yeah. what's the wildest nickname you've been given? Oh, there's a few. Like, when I'm watching the games back, the commentators say, like, Cash in the Attic and stuff like that. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> there's a few like, different ones. Yeah. Matty Peas, Matty Stacks, Matty Racks. <laughs> no, nah, I think I'd just get that in America, not here. <laughs> yeah, just, just wait until in a couple of years you come to MLS how many nicknames we're going to give oh, you, Matty. <laughs> oh, we got you. Yeah. Matty De Nero, yo, let's go. What did you say yesterday? Mateo De Nero. Yeah, Mateo De Nero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell Matthew what that means. Yeah, no. I don't think De Nero is Spanish for money. <laughs> so. uh, that sounded Italian, to be honest. <laughs> oh, probably because Robert De Niro. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Well, Maddie, since we have you and Hannah here, we figured we would have a little fun and play a game that we have uh, entitled He Said, She Said. So I don't know if you've seen this before, but couples will do this at, like, their, their bachelor and bachelorette parties or baby showers, and it's yeah. kind of like, how well do you know the other one? So we've got two siblings here, so we're going to see how well these two siblings know each other. So Hannah is going to be represented by a golf club. Mm -hmm, I've got that here. Maddie is going to be represented by a football boot, and we're going to ask you the both. World Cup boots. Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's such a flex. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So we're going we're gonna to ask you both a question, and you're going to say who you think is that person. So, like, who is the best looking? And maybe you both raise, you know, you like, you would, you know, raise. I've got a good Maddie ladies. Raise his. Exactly. So that's, that's how this game is going to work. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with the, the first question. All right, guys, you ready? Yes, we are. Okay. Who is better at golf? Ooh. Oh, no. Oh. No. No. That's horrible. And let me just say, the thing about Matthew is every summer he'll get, like, the golf bug. So he'll get obsessed with golf for, like, two months because the weather's nice and he's got some free time. This is off-season, yeah. And he'll be playing well because he'll be practicing. But then once winter comes around, football season comes around, it goes out the window. And I'd easily and beat you in the winter. Me and you played scratch now, I win. You know that. <gasps> Okay, I just also want everyone to know that Hannah played golf at the collegiate level. Yes, like, so, she yeah. is no joke. Yeah, no, I'm okay, not. We'll give her that And then, that's yeah. why I win this one, so golf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's here, so I'm going to give it to Hannah on this one. <laughs> yeah, he's next to me. So. She's, she literally okay, is holding a, a weapon. Okay. Wow, now Sorry I want to see you both again. face off. I know, that I'm very really curious. Exciting. I want to I see you two okay. golf against each other. My question, who was the better student? Student. Yeah, student. We've got to do it at the same time, Hannah, no? 
Oh, well, we both, we both choose it's me because it is me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now you didn't even put up a face. He's like, yeah, no, he's golf like, club. Yeah, no, I you. think do like a 3-2-1 countdown and then do. Okay, we'll okay. do that then. But yeah. Because right. then if not, I'm going to see you. So it's not, it isn't really. All right, I'll add, I'll add the, I have the next question. I'll add a count to it. Okay. 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 So this you have to assume based on your family. Who of the two of you is the better child in three, two, <laughs> wow. Wow. I think because I live at home still, maybe. Also, you're the girl. Yeah, I'm like, the youngest. Yeah. In the land family, it's oh, the opposite. The boys get yeah. all the. Yeah. I'm a good child, benefits. but I don't live at home, so. Yeah. All right, who's who's the amongst the three of you guys? Who's the favorite? Oh yeah, because you oh, have another brother. We can't brother. choose favorites, but all three of us. We need something <laughs> for Adam. <laughs> No, Matt, Maddie's yeah. like, it's me. Matthew's like, yeah, it's me. No, all three of us. We, you always ask your mum and dad that, and they always say, like, we can't No, my, my parents readily admit that I am the favorite child between oh, me and yeah. my brother. Yeah. Oh, really? It's oh, not really? even a question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> True. They're watching right now. My mom's like, mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next question for you guys. Who of you two has better style? Three, two, one, go. I'll Ooh. give that one. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I'll give that one to him. He has a bit huge closet with millions of shoes. You love shoes, don't you, Matthew? Yeah, I've got loads of clothes. Are you if a you sneaker need head? To... Yeah, pure sneaker head. Uh-huh, uh-huh. How many are we yeah. talking? Oh, 300. No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> and the thing is, he'll buy them and wear them once and then not wear them again. Well, you've got to keep yeah. them clean. Yeah, you've got to keep them freeze them. I have boxes that I haven't opened. Yeah. Maddie, what's your favorite <laughs> pair? Do you have like oh. a, a pair that you're saving or ones that like you just are, you know, they're or hallowed? Grail, if you've got some grail dunks. No, I was into the dunks quite a lot. I think yeah. I've got most of the dunks, to be honest. He's got every color. Really? <gasps> but I'm into the ASICS trainers at the minute. I don't know if you've seen them. ASICS, oh, ASICS yeah, are they're fire. They're kind of like yeah. making a comeback, I think. Oh, yeah, it's, the it's NYC, all the throwbacks. The NYC gel lights are fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For we me. Call Even the Under Armour. ASICS. We call ASICS and we say Nike. Nike. No, you Nike. guys say Nike. Nike. We say Nike. Nike. Yeah, Nike. and you say yeah. Adidas. Adidas. And is we that say what Adidas. That's the one where we're wrong because that's a German company, but yeah. they're wrong on Nike. It's Nike. But you don't <laughs> say, let me go ride my bikey. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is my argument. It's a, it's a Greek god. <laughs> you can't rename a Greek god. <laughs> that's a good point. That's a Real good, quick, hold on. What point. shoe size are you if you have shoes you don't use? <laughs> I'm a nine. If oh, you need that's some. That's a UK nine, so that's a US 11? No, yeah, that's US, US 11. 10. Oh. I'm 10 and a half. Huh. Damn, I was, about to, I was about to buy some off you there, man. Okay, on this whole <laughs> Adidas, Adidas, Nike, Nike, my question now is, who has the better American accent? Three, two, one. Yeah, it does uh. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I saw it on the last show, actually. That's why. It was so good. But we got to see how low the bar is. Maddie. <laughs> Maddie, you've got to do one. Maddie, you got to give us a little of an American accent here. Are you ready, yeah? Yeah. Hey, man, my name's Maddie, and I'm from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is it always Southern? It's so good. Hey, it's a, hey man. Hey, Maddie. <laughs> I'm Maddie. Wait, I can totally see him with a cowboy hat on. Oh. Just like, thank, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> That was good, right? Great. Oh, yeah. uh, it's, like, it's like Texas. I just I wonder, are we represented by Texas, like to the greater world? Well, Hannah went to college in Texas. Right. So that might yeah, be the connection fine. there. Yeah, okay. so there's that's an influence there. there. Mm. Maddie, did you go visit Hannah when she was at San Antonio? No, to be honest, every time I had a break, Hannah came home. So okay. for Christmas and stuff, I never had the time to go over there. And when I did, she was always back here, so. Yeah. Uh, we got we to gotta get you to the States. You have an open invitation to go. I know Stanford, Connecticut, which is where our studio is, is, is not nearly probably as colorful as, as Texas, but we'd, we'd love to have you anytime. We'll work on that American accent for you. Yeah, we need to put some Thank work you. into that. <laughs> yeah, I'd love, to, I'd love to come over. I mean, I love the States. We, we go there. Obviously, we went there on tour the last two, uh, two years, but for a holiday, it's way better, I think. That's right. We'll we got to teach you a happen. New York accent. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. the hardest one to do, I think. The New well, York? All right, we'll work on it. This has been so much fun. Hannah and Maddie, thank you both so much for, for hanging with us this morning. This has been awesome. We really appreciate it. And Maddie, uh, get well soon. We can't wait to see you back on the pitch. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.